Hey guys, so zookeepers, if you want to save some money this holiday and you want to do this as gifts for friends of yours that have lizards like geckos or chameleons or, or, or snakes um, and you don't want to spend the unbelievable amounts of money, I call myself the do-it-yourself king. I'm always thinking up things to do and I came upon something that is pretty neat. I went to the dollar store and I got these dog dog toys okay one dollar now I want to show you how to transform this one dollar piece to something that for smaller than that for things that are less substantial this and this you can put in tanks to give a three a third dimension to give some depth to the tank and give something neat for lizards and iguanas and frogs and things like that to crawl on and jump around on and make your tank look really neat. So I'm going to show you how to do this. It's really, really simple. Remember, I got one dollar invested in this and then the rest of it I'm going to show you in just a second. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to take these apart and you're going to need pliers. And the reason you're going to need pliers is because it's pretty tough. Obviously because they made them so dogs don't tear them apart. So, here we go. I've got some uh, channel locks. These are good. Regular pliers don't work as good because they don't have that rounded point to work and kind of hold on. But, uh, got some channel locks. And... Like I said, the hardest part about this project is getting this to let loose because they got this knot not tied. There it went, not tied pretty tight. So we got one end, and uh, they don't want you to be able to uh, take it apart because that would defeat the purpose with the dogs, right? So I found out if I get a good grip and I just wiggle it back and forth. I'm trying to let you see in the video here, but it's kind of interesting. And uh, there we go. Some people might take a little longer, some people not so much. Okay, then I've got this really nice rope that we're going to be able to use. And remember, I got this at the dollar store. The next thing is you need one of these. I didn't spend anything for this. This is a wire hanger. Every time I say the word mo uh, wire hanger, I think of Mommy Dearest. Well, she said, no more wire hangers. Well, we don't have a lot of them in the house, but when you send clothes to the cleaners, oftentimes they send them back uh, together. So you need a wire hanger. And what you want to do is, pliers come in here handy here too. You want to take these bad boys apart. And the reason you need a hanger is because you're going to want to you're going to want to put this on the inside of your rope and the reason you want this on the inside of your rope is because we want our ropes to be flexible so once they're in the tank you can bend them any way that you want so i'm gonna you bend this back and forth is better than wire snips it just breaks off what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this and I'm going to put it inside this rope. Now when I put it in the rope, I don't want it to come all the way to the end because a lot of those that you buy at the store, a lot of people complain that uh, when you have them, the metal piece sticks out on the end and they don't like that metal piece sticking out on the end because it could actually harm their snake or their lizard. So we're going to stick it in until it just about comes to the end. So I'm just going to start on one end, stick this in the middle of the rope, so we're just going to take our time, patience is a virtue, and we're going to slide this, keep adjusting it because as the end gets cranked, you don't want the end to get hung up. Sometimes it'll get hung up on you. And uh, I've only done this once before. I had this cool idea. I thought, let's give it a shot. So, ah, there we go. Okay, so a little bit more left. I've got it all the way in here. It's down past here. And it's bendable now, so I can do whatever I want with it later. That piece that's on the end, 
I'm gonna squinch this, squinch this, squinch. There you go, I'm gonna push this down a little bit so I can go past the end, because remember, I don't want it to stick out. And then I'm gonna break it off. So, now I've got this rope, this flexible rope, that I can use as a vine. Now what I did, and you can do all normal of things, you can be creative, and you can separate these. Matter of fact, I think I'll do that on this end. I got some rubber bands. You can go get some rubber bands. Any kind of rubber bands will do. I got these little half inch rubber bands. And I'm just going to take these rubber bands and I'm going to make two ends to the vine, maybe. Okay, so I've got one in there. And don't worry about the rubber bands because when you get done, none of this, none of the ropes, none of the strings, None of the stuff that's left hanging, that's going to be pretty cool actually. None of the stuff that's left hanging is going to be able to be seen. It's all going to be covered up. So I'm going to put enough rubber bands on there to make sure in the process that it's some good separation. Guys, this is fun. Sometimes if you want to just kind of sit around and figure out cool things to do, you can. And it's a good way to add some... Uh, some uh, I think I'll just leave this part straight. Um, it's a good way to let, add some enrichment to your animal's life. Now, on that one that I did just kind of as a sample, I didn't do this to the ends simply because I, you know, like I said, I came up with this wonderful thought, this idea to do this, and it's probably been done before. It probably has. But uh, I came up with an idea to do this, and you can do this with rope. I was going to do one with a smaller piece of rope if you want smaller vines, and then you can take that vine and you can wrap it around and do all sorts of neat things. But anyway, now I've got my vine. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to cover it. Okay, I don't know. Can you see me there? I guess I'm not the most important person to see anyway. But the next thing you want to do is you want to get yourself some cocoa fiber or you can get some of the green tree moss that's Samo in the back uh, having a blast uh, my iguana but uh, you want to get yourself some cocoa fiber or some of that dried moss that you can crumble up but anyway this is cocoa fiber okay um, if you get it in the blocks and you get it to where you wet it and you let it uh, out of the blocks you let it dissolve make sure you let it dry because it's going to decrease the curing time okay so now I have my rope and then what you want to do, and they didn't pay me, so I'm not going to show the name, but you want to get some 100% silicone. You can get it if you're going to do a big project in the tubes to where you can put the tubes in here and you can use it. Or you can get it in the small tubes here. And I don't know if this tube is enough, but you're going to get the idea of how to make this work. And I will come back and I will show you the finished product uh, of this in a little bit. So what you want to do is you want to grab some gloves unless you want to get this on your hand. Some people use a paintbrush. I find it's easier with gloves. So I'm going to grab my gloves and we'll get going. So what you want to do is you just want to take your silicone and you're going to cover, let me let you see this a little bit better here. You're going to cover everything with silicone. Now you can get this stuff white, you can get it in black or clear. Um, when it's all said and done, some people like black and I think I would probably like black better um, because when it's all said and done, if there are any gaps, you don't want the colors to show through necessarily. But uh, I've got clear right now. So with the ungloved hand, I'm going to hold here. Then I'm just going to take my gloved hand and I am going to spread this silicone make sure you get it on the ends and a lot should um, a little should go a long way and that's one of the reasons why this is so inexpensive you can get that silicone for four or five bucks and you can do multiple I've done already two of those with that little tube of silicone but uh you just nice and easy there yeah. cover the everything here I'm gonna go up a little bit further so I'm gonna set this down I covered my table in paper because clean up like I said don't want to want to get everything all dirty and I'm gonna squeeze this bottles almost done go 
clip about halfway, maybe. Okay. And all around. Got it here, really good. All around, all around, all around. And I like to do this half and half, or maybe three quarters and leave a little bit, but uh, that's totally up to you how you do it. Because you can always go back if there's any spots that you missed and apply some more. Okay, now the fun part. We're gonna take this and we're going to cover it. See how simple this is? We're going to cover it really, really well in your cocoa fiber or your moss or whatever it is that you're using. And you can already see how cool that is going to be. Um, let this dry for about 24 hours. Lots of cocoa fiber all on that. Don't be afraid to get your glove messy at this point. Actually, by the way, it'll come right off. But the reason you use the silicone is because you want it to be non-toxic, okay? Uh, once this dries, totally non-toxic to your animal. <coughs> so, and that's about it. Now, guys, this is some vine and you are not gonna find a vine like this for what I say we spent a dollar at the dollar store and once this dries I'm gonna show you something with this other one that I've done here once this dries you know what I'm so excited about this I'm gonna see if I've got enough to do the whole thing um yeah we're gonna see cuz we're loving it and we're having a blast it's pretty cool right please if you like this if you think that this is helpful um, and you want to see more videos, I've got a lot of cool things that I'm able to do with the animals. Just take some thought, a little bit of fun, I think we're going to make it guys. So I've got three ropes that I've made out of this. Pure silicone, so that's five dollars, three ropes, five, and each rope is a dollar a piece, so five, six, seven, eight. And then the cocoa fiber is negligible. I think I spent seven bucks at a reptile store on one, two, three, four, five, six blocks of this. So seven bucks on, on three blocks and seven bucks on another box of 14. So one of these blocks is nothing. So we're talking seven, uh, let's not even let, include the fiber. We're talking about five, six, seven, eight, uh, five dollars, six, seven, eight dollars for this and uh, divided by three. So we're talking about not even three dollars. We're talking about two dollars and thirty-three cents or so. Um, six, two do more than that. Two dollars and forty-five, two dollars and sixty cents or something like that for one of these versus nineteen twenty. And to get one this large, forget about it. Forget about it. You're not going to find one this large for that amount. I've seen the small, skinny ones that are a foot long or less, uh, two feet long for twenty dollars on sale at my local big chain store. I and I'm not doing this to be a hater, but I just know what I like. And when I can't find it, I get frustrated. Or when I go someplace and I think that it's extortion, I get a little frustrated by it. So I want you to see how easy this is to create. Now, obviously this isn't dry yet. We want to make sure the ends are done well, well covered. Okay. And... When this dries, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bend it back and forth pretty rigorously and I'm going to see what falls off and then if any parts fall off, I'm just going to take some silicone, touch it up on those spots, and we'll be done. Now, that, if you can see it, oh, there's a spot right there that's kind of uh, open. And I'm going to let that dry, shake it off, let it dry, end to end, we have a bendable, super cool vine that you can put inside a cage, give it some dimension, 
hang it, and let the animals crawl on it. And like I said, I took this and I bent it around. You can't hear anything. I've got some touch-up spots to do, but this stuff doesn't fall off. I took it and I bent it around and rubbed it. So once this is good and it doesn't fall off, you can adjust these and stick them in the tank however you want. And you've saved a lot of money. And in my opinion, you've gotten a much better product that you can use. So, so I hope that was helpful to you. Uh, zookeepers, if you do things like this, your animals are going to love you. Please like, share, please subscribe. And I love hearing from you. So in the comments, tell me what you thought about this. If you thought this is something that you could use it or that you would do yourself, uh, turn on the post notifications so you know the next time I make a video. And until then, this is Scott with the Post Jurassic Zoo. I will see you later. Bye-bye.